next on the list we have to talk about we have to talk about the main thing that's obviously on the fucking screen which is brendan getting this new dodge out of the blue right out of the blue brendan decided to go get a new dodge very interesting purchase considering he just recently purchased a what the ford lightning um he got that you know he allegedly bought a lemon but it wasn't he just did refuse to test drive it then he it felt like has spent a bunch of money fixing it to make it you know to his standards he probably i would imagine probably put way more money in it than what it's actually worth or what he actually even paid for it but you know it seems like one of those like passion project things that he's doing now to sort of fill the void of him not performing stand-up comedy as often and him not being as famous as he once was or just something he needs to do to find a personality who knows but that one car wasn't enough and then previously he bought a what a trx the camo or the creamy kind of color um trx that he recently bought and he got that always um, also modded to 1000 um horsepower and shit and other bits and bobs added to it as well i think he put a new steering wheel on it and some other things so he's spent a lot of money on cars recently and he's obviously in you know added things to them so you'd imagine that'll be it but no out of the blue he decided to go to this shop called tobin auto group to go and buy a dodge 170 or a dodge demon 170 i guess right um which is i guess in the same category as like hellcats and shit and those cars if you know anything again i'm not really versed in cars but even i know those cars are incredibly incredibly in demand um, um and everybody's kind of wanting them and they've been sold nowadays for like way above um the recommended kind of retail price because everybody wants to get their hands on them and obviously because recently um they fucking what did they do they um then they recently announced they were not going to make any more so that's probably the reason why the values have obviously increased but naturally you'd imagine over time the value would kind of like settle anyway and once everyone kind of gets their hands on one so that's basically the main thing that's happening here so let's play the clip and you can see what he's saying here but it's a really funny one i guarantee you you'll fucking enjoy this one so bizarre Dude, no, hold on. when they say chopping prices <laughs> you can't touch these things for you know well over 100 msrp he chopped the price. We yeah. chopped the price, chop baby. <laughs> chop it. So, so I guess this guy is some sort of like celebrity car guy thing. I guess I'm assuming it's a strange thing. I don't know who he is. I guess he's some sort of like celebrity car dude. I don't really know much about him. Um, he's, he's called the Chop. I think. I think I've got even Instagram here, haven't I? I think he's called that's it the king of cars i guess he's some sort of like um what's, what's his bio say his bio says dealer in the world of, for years king of cars on a and e and sports agency isa so i guess he's some sort of like celebrity car dude who hooks up people right um with cars as you can see there big up crash appreciate you brother god happy new year az wishing for lots of growth and prosperity for you in 2024 big ups and big ups to the chat happy new year everyone big up cheers big up for the chairs <laughs> big up crash appreciate it, brother thank you for the super chat brother um happy new year to you also um and more prosperity more fucking light you know more fucking happiness and more all of that good stuff for you also in 2024 brother thank you for tuning in and supporting the show as per usual appreciate you always 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 and again it maybe i hadn't said it's a stream chat as well happy new year to stream chat by the way i don't think i mentioned it before as well so happy new year to stream chat hope you all are having a good one so far you started off strong and you will continue as strong as you can because it's only january right if you're going to start off a year strong you might as well do it in january if you fall off in february it's all good just at least start january strong you know give yourself a good little base <laughs> and go from there uh, but big up crash I appreciate it, but i appreciate appreciate you a lot um yeah so mr chop mr chopper i guess is some sort of celebrity dude there's pictures of him with funk flex and shit right um hanging out and other bits and people so i guess that's his whole grift right being a famous dude that kind of sells cars i don't know i don't know what the deal is let's go back to the clip but yeah so brendan out of the blue randomly tired to buy this dodge um or this challenger however you fucking say it right is it dodge challenger challenger dodge 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 challenger whatever you fucking call it um the comments are closed <laughs> funny <laughs> So 
So we're blessed right now, right here at Tobin Dodge, number one in the world, to have Brandon Schaub in our show. Oh, and that's not a rap, in it? That's not wrapped, right? That's like a that's like the, how it came from the manufacturers in this neon green colorway. Because that's obviously the inside. That's not a wrap at all. Wow, Jesus Christ. It's a bit loud and it? it's a bit crazy, but I don't, I, it looks a bit like a Hot Wheels car, but I don't mind the color, I'm not going to lie. But, you know, I, I'd imagine resale isn't going to be the greatest on that color. So we're blessed right now, right here at Tobin Dodge, number one in the world, to have Brandon Schaub in our show, man. Thank you very much thank for coming you, through. Thank you, brother. Yeah, so, thank you for coming through, man. <laughs> 100%. Not too many people come through on uh, Demon 170s. 100%. A lot of people said they could do it. You guys are the only ones that actually pulled it off. We got you. I, my friend Yoel, who we do a lot of business with, and he's famous for he sold the car to Drake, a lot Christ, of Ferrari. Christ. Yes, sir. That is a, you know, that, that guy, he, he reminds me of the guy from the bagel shop, remember? Yes, the white, the white maybe. You are not my father, my boss, or God. Uh, imagine that of that guy from the bagel shop. That's a tiny dude. Back to our guy Khaled, yeah. when he's out hanging out of the roof. It's perfect when I heard that you wanted the 170, I was like, man, I really wanted to go to somebody that really enjoyed it. Because sometimes it'll go to a collector and that's cool, but it might be quiet. Yeah, but they use it. them as art pieces. Right. Like, right. I drive my car. Yes, sir. Like, and you know this, I drive my car, so this thing will be driven. Yeah. So you, you're going to make it do a wheelie or what? Oh, yeah. That's, oh, yeah. That's why I bought it. Yeah, what are we doing here? So, it's dope, man. Congratulations. I'm really happy that you came through and that you're getting this car. And uh, she, you your laces match. Yeah, you're ready Oh, yeah, dude, I'm ready to go, dude. <laughs> One thing I'm going to say is that never mind the chop had the car. This, he, he hooked up the best deal I've ever seen on a demon. Which chop, right baby? Here. Exactly. Which so, allegedly, people are selling these for 300000 And I think the the recommended retail price is like a hundred grand or something. That's insane, bro. Obviously, I'm assuming he financed it. I don't think he probably paid for it in cash. But can you imagine paying three hundred thousand dollars for a car that's meant to retail for ninety thousand to a hundred god almighty and once everybody gets their hands on one you'd imagine this price will sort of like sell as most things once a novelty kind of wears off and shit like and then you imagine as well the financing options will probably be a lot more expensive than you know what the car is and shit so you might you might actually end up paying more than that you know as the years kind of go down and whatnot who knows or maybe it's just a one of those or maybe it's just one of those sick places where they give you crazy deals for the exposure on the internet maybe that's part of what they want to do they probably want you to kind of come on come to their where come to their chop shop or come to their you know their dealership buy a car and in the hopes that you can post it on your social, get them a bump in followers, and they can use that to leverage other things. Maybe that's the whole point. But it does feel a little bit, you know, a little bit scammy. I don't know what about it. Maybe it's a guy how he speaks to chain and the bald head and shit, but there's something about it. it doesn't really feel legit. But the car is quite really nice to be fair. Not gonna lie. Well, well, I'll tell you guys, until the second it's running out of time, Chop is selling cars at Infos. Come on, guys. New cars, so if it's a jailbreak, it's a Hellcat, it's a scat pack, it's a wide body, it's a Ram truck, it doesn't make a difference what we got. We're chopping the prices to invoices, what we paid the factory. Brandon, we're getting crazy, baby. You're getting crazy. It's going to be a great experience. We chop the price. We got my guy Brandon oh, right here. Hey. Man, I appreciate you, baby. Yeah. Let's ride this thing off Chop the Chopping prices on Demon 170? We're going to hit a gun. We're going to hit a gun. Oh, yeah, it's Let's old school. It. Let's hit it. It's old school. What's that about? Does he mean that? Does he what? Did he, is that for like a movie or something? Why is he like so excited about a gong? Oh, 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 oh yes, yeah, old school. Let's hit it. To be fair, that congratulations he, to Brendan Shaw for the. Per to be fair, the only time you see Brendan genuinely happy is when he's buying things. To be fair, he doesn't necessarily look this excited and giddy ever outside of when he's buying things. That's when he actually looks really happy the most. Of a brand new Demon 170 from Tobin, number one in the nation, Dodge. It's an interesting pivot he's making, isn't it? Right, from driving the Porsches, Ferraris, and now he's like, like I think that's why I. I don't know if that is you count as an L or not. Because I part of me also thinks he could probably be 
a little bit more of a legit car guy if he just stuck to the pickup trucks and shit. The pickup truck kind of like grift probably could have worked, especially after buying the Lightning. So you buy a TRX, then you go and buy a Ford Lightning, a 20 year old car, you fix it up and then you maybe buy something, you know, five year old, whatever, and you build up your collection that way. That maybe would have been a good way to sort of like get the, to the crux of his, you know, gearhead knowledge and stuff and start from the bottom and kind of build from there but going from you know the trx to the other you know car that was being flipping spun around and stuff to this it just seems a bit weird isn't it, it just seems a bit weird it just seems a bit weird <laughs> Hey man, we had a great meeting. Appreciate you coming out. It's great to meet you. You're the best. Thank you for everything, and brother. And taking these kid out all the time to buy these cards is a bit strange as well. Big up chocolate dropped. Appreciate you. Always nice to catch you live. Have you seen the pod with Chappelle and Kat? Was pretty good emo. Looking forward to seeing you take off even more this year. Thank Open hands. Thank you, brother. Appreciate the super chat. Appreciate the super chat so, so, so much, my friend. Um... Did I see the Cat and Chappelle thing? No, I didn't. Is that a podcast? Is that who's whose podcast is that? Is that Cat or is that Chappelle's? I haven't seen that, no. I haven't heard anything from Cat or Chappelle in a while. I saw a bit of Chappelle's, you know, material. He seemed quite funny. So yeah, I'll be interested to watch that. Why not? Why the hell not? Why the hell not? But yeah, big up you. Um, chocolated drop. I appreciate you so much. Thank you for the super chat, my friend um yeah i find the whole like bringing your kid every time you go buy a car thing to be a bit strange it's almost like you're forcing him into being a car guy it's almost like you know you know like it's almost like uh, parents with like franchises or team they support and they make them wear a particular one it kind of feels like that a little bit that's what it kind of feels like so maybe that's the case that's going with him i'm not too sure but I find that a bit strange, you know? Just leave the kid at home, let him play with his toys and shit, hang out with his friends, instead of just going around and, you know, I don't know, now developing a taste for fucking fast cars when he's, like, under the age of, under the age of 12. It's, like, a bit weird. Then you've got his brother as well, who's, you know, strange thing. Whenever he buys a car, he seems to, like, you know, basically fly his brother in to do what? You know? Strange thing as well there. Brent, you know, Jay Shaw comes in obviously and he's ready to go. I feel you, I feel you. Let's continue here. Enjoy this monster. Yeah, thank both of you guys, Tiger. man. Great to meet you, little man. Did you have fun? Yeah, yeah you were playing the simulator? <laughs> thank you so much, brother. Thank, thank you, man. Everything. Thank you. Don't get me wrong, it's a really nice car. I don't think we can deny that, right? It's actually a real. Oh, what's going on here? It's actually a really, 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 really nice car. I'm not going to lie. I actually do like it. Um, it's just an interesting, weird pivot to make. That's the only thing. It's just a strange pivot. It feels like a very, very strange pivot to go from what he has already to now. Um, the, 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 the speed and power of it is crazy. If I'm not mistaken, it's around the 900 horsepower mark as well. I'm not mistaken, right? Um, there's footage of it I've seen already doing wheelies and stuff and all that sort of crazy shit um you know it can fucking move so that might be a bit of an issue for him going around but maybe not maybe he kind of enjoys the fact that the cars you know can do crazy shit and he just drives at 60 miles per hour i'm not too sure but yeah it's a lot of car there um a lot of flipping brothers we shed to get it and now you know both people are kind of i don't know i just find it odd i just find the whole thing odd i just find all of it odd i'm not really sure what's going on but i find the whole thing to be so fucking bizarre but let's see how it plays out for him um obviously most people would assume and you probably are right to say where does that interest in those cars come from was it out of the blue was it something that he actually was into nope it wasn't it wasn't Oh yeah, no, that's what I was meant to mention. Big, big up aside, that's what I forgot to mention. Sorry, yeah, I forgot to mention that. Forget all that shit I'm just saying there. Can you imagine how you'd feel if you're fucking George? Can you imagine how you'd feel if you're fucking George and you allegedly get fired because there's no money, right? There's no money um, or the person that's meant to pay you lost their bank card or something, right? Crazy. 
can you imagine can you imagine how you'd feel if you got let go and then your boss goes and buys a neon green demon 170 special edition can you imagine how gutted you'd feel how hurt you'd feel he told you hey i can't afford to pay you but i can afford to pay myself (laughs) (laughs) you do not matter but i matter can you imagine how that would fucking hurt you know it's not good to watch someone's pockets anyway right you don't count people's pockets and you never know you know maybe this is money from his own personal account doesn't have to do the business whatever but the optics are so crazy going from not being able to afford to pay george um and then being publicly shamed into rehiring him then having him be a fucking remote worker and then suddenly now you're able what you, you found a fucking extra 20 dollar bill behind your fucking sofa and now all of a sudden you're buying you know one of the craziest cars around it, i would be so mad i would be so angry you know it's, <laughs> it's kind of equivalent to like lending money to a friend they haven't paid you back but then they're in a bar buying loads of drinks and shit and going crazy it's like bro that could have been my money you know what i mean like <laughs> same thing goes here but you know george probably is never gonna see this he's never really gonna confront him anything shape or form so it kind of is what it is but if i was him i'd be so pissed i'd be so pissed so 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 pissed like imagine all that work you're doing and then bang he just comes through with a green car but allegedly he can't pay you like what all right cool coolio i guess coolio i fucking guess um moving on from that what are you guys saying in the chat um severity design says i can't believe y'all ain't put it together he sold a ferrari flipped a profit and now decided to mod out series of lower cost less exotic cars for content and build two flippable car collection ah severity design that's a really good idea so he bought a ferrari flipped it for more than it's worth two times i think um and then it's bought cork okay that makes a lot of sense Sarah design that makes a lot of fucking sense i'm not gonna lie mk big up mk so our shorts brothers now the redacted version of the tape brothers exactly um george died for that car assad big up assad um how is he still got money or credit or baffles me to be fair i think most likely if you've got credit or finance and you pay as much many things as brendan does you're probably a really you know in demand customer and stuff so he's probably not short of options because i wondered that myself one time like you know what her what what you know what flipping his monthly nut must be and it must be high it must be in the high thousands what his actual monthly nut is in terms of like you know what gets paid what doesn't get paid and shit it must be fucking crazy um but yeah just imagine that guy telling you he doesn't have money to pay for your bills like what or money to pay your salary sorry um what are you guys saying here if george put the weight back on this papa's fault bgl would be per- <laughs> bgl and george could start a podcast called brokies oh god absolutely incredible so says I, I think about it thick boys has a blood daughter that's growing up so she was going through the girl face talking to her skating ring the c16 yeah that's true that's all very 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 true okay moving on from that one